Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Excuse my hair, crazy hair, facial hair. Uh, hadn't had a chance to groom, get a haircut, and shave, and all of that. But uh, figured I'd do you guys a quick video today since uh, I've had this uh, somewhat of an emergency. Not really an emergency, but uh, I've had trials going through this thing. I'm going to do an unboxing today of a Hallmaster trailer jack. Now, I've been having issues with my trailer jack situation on this boat I just bought. The issue being, it keep breaking. So the first one was an old school jack. It was mounted right there. And uh, that's it. This old school jack. Problem with this thing was, this was it. This is all exposed and it just let up and down. Not like these new ones that fold out of the way. Uh, this thing just let up and down. And I, every time I walk past, the main problem was that I touch this thing on the top just because I'm walking past it and I just touch it as a, a point of reference and so I don't bang my shins on this or something like that. And I always got that oil on my hands from that. So I got rid of that. I bought one of these things from Walmart and uh, it was a thousand pound capacity. That doesn't mean it only holds a thousand pounds. You don't need it for the weight of the entire boat because naturally a boat is gonna weigh more than a thousand pounds. From the research that I've done on trying to get this thing right, because like I said, I've had trouble with it, um, you need to know the tongue weight, or sometimes I've seen and heard it referred to as nose weight of your trailer. And my bass boat, and I'm guessing it probably weighs about 2,500, more, no more than 3,000 pounds with the trailer, uh, if more, very little more. And from the tongue weight is about, again, from my research, it should be about 10% of, even if it was 50%, a 1,000 pound capacity jack should be more than enough. From the old jack, my issue wasn't with lifting and lowering, uh, it's just that it was old and greasy and uncovered and uh, kind of inconvenient. The Walmart jack started giving me issues because it wouldn't go up and down. So I took that back and bought one from Northern Tool. Northern Tool jack, I'm not going to lie, I went ahead and uh, got in a rush one day and drove off while the wheel was still on the ground. And I broke the wheel and I ended up taking the wheel off that one. As you can see, there's no wheel on it and we're putting it on the one from Northern Tool. Now, I don't know if that had anything to do with the issues I ended up having with the dang thing, but I'll use it for another week or two without any problems and uh you know eventually it started to fail as far as it started getting stiff going up and stiff going down and then eventually it would not go up and down at all it was just out of there had to jack it up with the hydraulic jack from my truck and uh put it on the jack stand as you can see so at any rate i went ahead and bought this bigger jack from harbor freight the hallmaster 2000 Hallmaster 2000. No, it's not Hallmaster. Anyway, the Hallmaster 1500 pound capacity, which should be way more than enough. Uh, I figured I'd go up and see if that was the issue. But the price point was better than any of the jacks that I bought. Uh, I guess it was a little bit more than a Walmart jack, but what do you expect? So let's get this thing unboxed and let's get it mounted and uh, we'll come back with a review later on. Let you guys know how it feels and how it looks. with two wheels and all the hardware instructions I've been through enough of these I don't need the instructions on them anymore by now. now I'm gonna tell you this looks way more heavy duty than the previous ones I've put on it's way more heavy duty than the previous ones I've assembled Start by putting the handle on. See, is there a washer that needs to go on here? I don't think it is, so let me get it started. This impact is probably overkill, but I don't care.
Now that was a 13 millimeter for the handle, by the way. And I believe it is a it is a 19 millimeter for the wheels. <laughs> and uh you'll need your a wrench, which this might be 18. Hopefully it's 17 or 18 because I do not have a 19 millimeter wrench. So the nut is 19 millimeters, the bolt is 18, and as you see, it's just gonna spin if you just hit it, hit it with just that. So you gotta there we go, nice and tight. Got both wheels still spinning. And now we move to mount the plate here to the actual trailer itself. So these go facing this. Before I start putting these bolts on, we're going to move to the trailer and uh, to make sure we're not wasting our time and get everything lined up straight. I like to get started with two of these on here. Make sure you leave some space to, for yourself to work back here. I like to get started with the two on top. I like to get started with the two on top. That way it'll hold itself up. You don't have to worry about that. You wouldn't go all the way tight with it, obviously. Well, as I promised, guys, I am back to finish off the review of this trailer jack. And uh, I got to say, it is pretty nice a1 thing moves like butter might be overkill for the boat but there is one problem uh that i noticed and i guess you could take that into account the jack itself is a lot bigger right now it's parked on level ground so we shouldn't have any issues with this as we speak but uh let me put this camera down and uh show you something real quick see how this looks barely enough clearance to put that jack on the put the wheels on the ground That's with the boat hooked to the trailer. Now, the main issue that I was having where my boat was parked before, and is where I park it most of the time, is uh, it's not on level ground. Now, if I bring it over here and park it here, then it's fine. But where I normally store it and leave it, it's not level ground. So I had to switch sides and put the trailer jack on this side. Because when I lowered the trailer onto the truck the wheels on the jack were still on the ground and there was no way i was going to get it up so i had to take it off put it back on the other side but on flat ground it, it works you barely get enough clearance depending on how high or how low your uh, truck is mounted uh, how to how high or low is mounted to your truck in the jack or whatever you get what i'm trying to say yeah so but other than that the 1500 i won't have i shouldn't have any problem i don't think i will be having any problem with that thing lifting it up and down because it like i said it moves like butter so I would go with the 1500 to start out, and it's a great price point. The only other thing is you have to worry about is to keep in consideration is to make sure that the jack will come off the ground when it's mounted to your truck. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Never let up.